to 7 at 7 at 7. Uh, I want to thank everyone for coming out. It's a really long day. Seven or six, seven or six. It's and not there's, 7. There's a lot more to come. There's seven. Electric City at the Vault, where Aaron Lowinger, among many others, will be playing. Ooh. Oh, you're reading? Oh, you're reading? Oh, uh, double boo. <laughs> So there's music at the poetry event, and there's poetry at the music event. Uh, and I really want to thank, let's give a big hand for Chris Fredden. Uh, setting up not only the book fair, which was always an amazing event, but also setting up this event. And so I'd also like to thank Sweetness 7 and Chris and everyone here for hosting us. Please, if you're here for this event, grab a beer. They just got their liquor license in the past week or so. Grab some food. So I'm going to read uh, just a few short things, and then we've got a dirty threesome. You, Robin and Nicolan and Mike Sycamore, uh, Shannon Compton from Blue Books. Jen Tynes from Horseless Press. And we'll take a break and we'll be back with some more music and some more poetry. Uh, this is from a project I'm working on called Under Songs. And uh, in the Shepherd's Calendar, Spencer, there's this sort of singing contest between these two shepherds. And the shepherd who answers the first shepherd is called an under song. It's sort of supposed to be this ironic. Uh, funny sort of thing, so we try to work on this. I'm a volleyball rising above the courts in a wonderful game. 
All of the players below me are armless. I was once swallowed by death. It opened around me at night, moist and sinking. I screamed and it filled my mouth. I kicked and it took my shoe. I crawled and it made room for me, filling in the space I emptied out. More was the shape of the hole, more the only word that escaped it. The only way through was to become death, beyond allegory, past science, back to the crack in the mirror, to somehow be the piece missing and close all up forever with one sudden intake of breath. Delete, delete, delete. Not just the names, but the voices behind them. Not only the flash on the surface, but the depth of the connection all the way to the opening smile, the root wound, the lead. Not just the cry of the babe, but the mother's touch. Not only the flip of the collar, but the chill to the bone, the gesture for its warmth, love, the rubbing, the lead, the lead. I, you, them, us, did, do, will have, would not. Not just the glimpse of the trees, but the concept of speed, motion, parallel lines, negative space, delete. I unabashedly feel myself moving. I feel my smile preclude me, standing before you, unopened, hanging on the cusp. I wanted to be here, but I couldn't. I was an apostrophe, a meaningful gap, a pool of blood gathering, unabashedly. I was what one thought of, but didn't do anything about it. Laughter without being able to say why, a sigh, unabashedly moving, standing at the bottom of the stairs, about to come up, worried about the way the shelf wavers. It's just a big arrangement of words, wobbling. Emily Dickinson, attacked by a bunch of space monkeys. <laughs> no! <laughs> yes. It was a long time. <laughs> the monkeys shoot red lasers from their eyes. She fights them off with lines from her poems. Each word turns smoke into light. Each long dash makes the monkeys scream. Finally, she falls to her knees and sings, smoke rising all around her. And what is she holding? A child. She names the child Rilke. The monkeys, one by one, spread their wings, shooting lasers this way and that as they fly. The sun in my eyes, a black bat flapping. I try to look away, but it moves with me, bouncing up and down awkwardly. So I try to look through it, pull myself through it. Six months from now, the first openly gay football player will announce himself. Six months from now, a woman will slip off the side of a boat, has to be pulled back, gasping, already dead. We are all already dead, eventually. The sun in my eyes, I blink and it's gone. I'm back, behind dashes and pauses and half sight and so many words. So many words. You don't know the half of it. The half of it that's in light so bright that it blinds you like the edges of Rodin or the smoothness of Henry Moore. The only way to cover the hole is more hole. But where does it come from? You have to keep opening, but you can't. You don't know the half of it. And you could be halfway there, but only for a minute. The funny thing is, you get no closer to home. That's it. So. <laughs> Without further ado, Robin Brox, Michael Ann, Michael Sycamore, AKA. <laughs> 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 <laughs>